it's Justine and today we are reviewing the brand new vlogging camera from Sony. Now this isn't just a vlogging camera. Basically they're comparing this to one of their higher end mirrorless cameras which is the A9. So to pack a lot of the things that people love about the A9 into this tiny point and shoot is beyond incredible. But for me, I don't really take a lot of photos, I do a lot of video and I'm always on the hunt for the perfect vlogging camera. And so far we are so so close to having the perfect camera, but this now officially has a mic jack. It's about time. That's all I'll say. The RX100 line has been one of my favorite vlogging cameras for a long time. This is gonna change everything. The only thing that I ever wanted was a very small point and shoot camera with a mic input. And not only are we getting the mic input, but we're getting a super powerful camera. It takes incredible photos. The autofocus is just beyond anything that you guys will expect from something so small. It has continuous eye autofocus, which is something that I really love. And it also has animal eye focus, which only works in still photos. Hopefully soon they'll have a firmware update, so you'll be able to do that in video as well. But let's take a look at this thing. So it has the flip up screen that you guys are used to in most of the RX lines. This also shoots 21 megapixels. It has a 24 to 200 millimeter zoom. Like that's excessive. It doesn't have a built-in ND filter, which I used a lot in the RX100 Mark V, but I think overall, if you are outside shooting, you will notice a little bit of a difference if you had the previous version and you use the ND filter quite often. But man, did I mention that it has a mic jack? It uses the same batteries as the previous versions. So if you have a bunch of these from your older cameras, you can still use those. But what I wanted to show you guys today are some of the rigs that I've come up with. What I love about this is I am so sick of lugging around a huge camera. Like I don't wanna do it anymore. It's exhausting and when I'm traveling, I just wanna shoot, get cool shots, and not have to be burdened with a bunch of stuff. So this is really, really exciting. Let me get my little basket of goodies. I went into my tech closet, did a little shopping and I picked out some things that I think I will like to use with this. You guys have seen this before. My sister Jenna uses this a lot because she vlogs a little bit more than I do now. It not only acts like a little tripod, but it also has some controls here. So you can take photos, you can zoom in and out, and you can also start and stop recordings. This is a very tiny little microphone and this thing cost $25 on Amazon. One of the things that I noticed with this camera is I had been doing a bunch of mic tests and I couldn't understand why some of the mics would work and some of them wouldn't. It's a 3.5 millimeter jack, why is this not working? There's various types of these 3.5 millimeter jacks. So this one is a TRS and you can tell because it only has one ring. And this one is just a little Rode lav microphone. So this is a TRRS, so it has two rings. So if you do want to use this, you will need a little adapter, which I actually got one with this Rode mic. So it will convert your TRRS to a TRS and you'll be able to use it. So I went on Amazon and was trying to find the smallest TRS microphone that I could find that would work with this. So this is how I like to use it. And I just plug it in just like so. I did a quick little video test with this in a previous video, but what I love about this is it is so small and it sounds really good. So if I'm filming, I can flip it around and you can hear the audio from here. Or I'm filming somebody else, I can just flip it right to the front. So there we go. Another weird little setup that I was doing, which is so dumb. I was just running this wire directly into the camera and I was just clipping this to my shirt. And this makes it super simple to just get really quick shots with really great audio. I went to Maine recently for a fun little vacation. I'd never been to Maine. Side note, it's beautiful. So everybody that lives there, props on your homeland. It was super windy and I was about to hop on the sailboat. So I thought this would be a perfect test of using this little setup. I'm about to get on the sailboat. I'm in Camden, Maine right now. This is actually my first time in Maine and it's so beautiful. This is the boat that we're about to get on. This is the Olad Oladiturbiter. I keep calling it the Olaf, but I think that might be a snowman. This is something that I'm extremely excited about. All of my other YouTuber friends, everyone has basically been using these. These are the Rode Wireless Go microphones. I know Farouk is a huge fan of these and he basically was like, you gotta get it. And this is exciting because it's gonna be a perfect setup for this little guy. Another microphone option. This is the microphone that I always use when I'm vlogging because it does work with a hot shoe. So in any of the Sony cameras, you can just plug this right in. You don't need any wires or anything. That is one thing that I really wish that this would have. But instead, they have this. A viewfinder. So the viewfinder is really great when you're out taking photos or videos in really sunny situations. I think you'd be into that, Tyler. You, you like the viewfinder, don't you? <laughs> it's 
I'm only seeing Tyler's not the using the viewfinder. Okay, well, so got another tripod option. Also got this little bracket mount that I use quite often. And this one, which I just found, is going to be honestly, I think, the perfect thing for this setup. So this is super small, and what's great about these little road mics is this little clip. God, this is actually the microphone, so you can look super silly and just clip this to your shirt. And like, that's a lot. So this little clip just clips right here into like a cold shoe. I mean, this is, I mean, this is seriously game changing. Like, I, I, um, I'm shook. So this looks a little silly, but honestly, find me a smaller setup. I'll wait. This is everything I've ever wanted. Look at this little thing. I may need to do a little bit of cable management. So far, this is my favorite rig, but now I wanna do an audio test of what each one of these options sound like. This is the audio of the onboard Sony RX100 Mark VII. This is what it sounds like with no microphones attached, absolutely nothing, this is it. And you can tell if I get a little bit closer, the audio obviously is a little bit better because I'm closer to the microphones. So this is probably about where I would be when I'm vlogging. Now let's plug in the Rode Wireless Go. So this is the setup using the Rode Wireless Go microphone. I'm using the LOV connected to the little Wireless Go. I also wanna try this out without the wireless LOV. I'm gonna unplug this LOV from the little Wireless Go and I'm gonna plug this LOV directly into the camera. So this will give us an option of what it sounds like if I decide to not use this and just look silly with a cable hanging off my camera. So that looks like it's working and the LOV is attached to me. I look silly. This is about as far, I think, as I can get without <laughs> me pulling the camera over. It's definitely not a good look, but hopefully it sounds okay. Now, let's move on to my favorite little tiny $24 nugget. So this is a test of this little tiny microphone and make sure whenever you guys are plugging things into this mic input that it's pressed in all the way because I just made a huge mistake and it wasn't pushed in all the way. And this was the audio that I got from that shot. And I also love that I can flip it around so Tyler say something. Hi, 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 hi. Now I'm gonna flip it. Hi, welcome to Chili's. So always make sure that it's actually plugged in because I've lost so much footage in the past because of something so simple like that. This is what it sounds like with that other little hot shoe Sony microphone. How does it sound? Are you guys enjoying this? So I'm a little bit further away and obviously I'd be vlogging probably about somewhere right here. Okay, audio test over. Another thing that I love is you can do interval shooting, so you can also shoot RAW and JPEG, so you can get some really high quality time lapses. I shot this, it was really dark, so I'm surprised that this came out as well as it did. This was the moon rising above a lighthouse. I'm so excited that they have interval shooting in this camera. They first released it with the A6400, and then they later released a firmware update for some of their mirrorless cameras. So with this, it makes it super simple, and I also love that you can shoot in RAW as well, so you can get some really high quality shots. Here's a few photos that I took in Maine. Most of these are just all on auto. I did do a little color correcting in Lightroom, so they aren't directly from the camera. I also mentioned about picture profiles, which is really fun, especially if you do like to color grade your footage and have more flexibility. So we're shooting in S-Log, too. So here's what that shot looks like with a little bit of color grading. It's fantastic. I'm not very good at grading, so don't judge me for my skills. There's also some new steady shot options. So there's active, standard, and just off. So if you do have it on active, it does crop the image a little bit. I would recommend probably keeping it on standard, unless you're super unsteady, then keep it on active. Really, I think just do what you want. These are just merely suggestions. Whatever you think works, do that. I'm gonna show you probably my ideal setup, which I will use most of the time. So I probably would most likely use this tripod and use this little guy. I really, really like this a lot. After vlogging for so many years, it gets extremely tiring. And the shots that you can get with this camera, they're comparable to a lot of these mirrorless cameras because this is not an inexpensive camera. This is about $1,200. So you are paying for something that is extremely powerful. Another thing, you guys know that I love slow-mo shots. This also has high frame rate built into it. So there's a little high frame rate option. So you just flip that over to there. You hit the movie button. And <laughs> it gives you a little preview. Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. 
Ew, that's disgusting. My fingers look like they're gonna fall off my hand. I hate everything that I just filmed. So the high frame rate settings, you can shoot 240, 480, and 960 frames a second. Another thing that's really cool about this camera is you can shoot 20 frames a second continuous shooting with no blackout. And it'll just look like you're filming a video, but you're actually taking photos. Well, I absolutely love this camera. I've been having so much fun with it. But right now, we're gonna go out and shoot a vlog. I was gonna say it's a fake vlog, but it's gonna be a real vlog, but it's like a forced vlog for the sake of this camera. So you get the point. I'm gonna go vlog with this now. <laughs> so let's go outside. Where should we go? I want coffee. Coffee. Coffee, please. Okay, we're driving. We're going to get coffee. This is a vlog. This is a forced vlog. We're forcing an activity right now, which is what most vlogging is. If anyone tells you otherwise, they're a complete liar. Forced vlog, coffee. I'm forcing you guys to get coffee with me. <laughs> Jenna was previewing the audio and she said it sounded a little bit low. So on the actual camera itself, you can adjust the level. So previously I had it at 15 and I just changed it to 18. So Jenna, test and see how that sounds. Okay, okay. I think this will be better. So it's my fault if it's not better. Well, I'm gonna get an oh my iced gosh. vanilla latte. Me too. Probably no CBD. No CBD because I already had some CBD this morning. And I think it's, I think it's swelling my tongue. I think I'm having a reaction. Wow, this is, this, this is a slow zoom on. Can you do fast zoom? Yeah, I can change it. No way. Look how fast that is. Okay, I've had one of these cameras for so long. Could you do that in all of them? Yeah. Wow. I did not experiment in the settings enough. We're almost there. Fast zoom. Are you recording? Okay, this is super riveting content. I am putting money in the meter and we have 20 minutes. So we're gonna need to make haste. Make haste? Do with haste, be hastily. Oh, it's busy today. Do we all want like regular milk, non-fat? Yes. Okay. Hi, how are you? Go give this to Jenna. Jenna's coffee. Thank you. Here you go, Jen. They even have like fresh homemade vanilla sugar. It's incredible. Thank you. Did mm -hmm. you put it in mine too? I did. Oh, thanks. Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, it's really good. I think this vlog is going really well. What have you done so far? Well, we drove here. Oh. <laughs> we drank coffee. What will we do next? This is it. This is all you've done. Oh. I do like the 200 millimeter zoom. I know. It's great for nature. I am super into nature. Look what Tyler's doing right now. He's using the viewfinder. I knew you'd be so into that. Do you like it? Yeah, it's kind of cool because um, on a lot of cameras, you can't, you're blocked. I can see like the world around outside yeah. and the viewfinder at the same time. So if someone tries to, you know, like, throw something at me, I'll know and I'll be able to catch it. One of the other cool things that this camera has is it can detect the orientation that the camera is being held. So right now Jenna is holding this in a vertical format, so this will automatically flip. So this makes it super easy to import photos and videos from your camera directly to your phone and you can post on Instagram stories or, I don't know, I'm super into vertical video. I think it's really cool. And bye bye FedEx. See ya. See ya. He did not like us. He almost hit us. been making it my goal to make this my main camera that I travel with. So I went and got one of the RX100 small rigs. This rig is so awesome. It's pretty low profile, so it's not that huge, but as you can see, it has like a really cool little grip on here and everything fits so perfect. It still gives you access to all of the ports. It also allows you to have access to the battery and SD card. It's such a perfect snug fit. Even the viewfinder fits and guess what else? The flash still works. You still have access to do the zoom. Everything is just so perfect on this. Like, I can't believe it. The main reason that I got this is because I want to be able to mount things on it. I don't have the proper mount yet, but I have it ordered and it hasn't come in yet. So right now I've just been clipping the Rode mic right on this, just like so. You can clip it right on the rail and then plug it in. I mean, 
Like, who's not gonna wanna vlog with this setup? Like, I might honestly start vlogging again. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and make sure you like it and hit the bell and do all of the things that us YouTubers tell you to do here on YouTube. This is Justine signing off. Hello and goodbye. Why did I say that? I've never said that in my life. Thank you.